Hello my loyal companions, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're taking another look at Solo Queue to Rogue, the rank series, where I take my second account, Snake Dog Gaming, all the way up to Rogue rank, completely Solo Queue, to prove to you guys that it is possible, and give you some educational tips along the way. Today's video specifically, we're playing on Skyfell, I talk very, very openly about exactly what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, the decision makings I'm making, and what allowed us to make this comeback. If you do go on to enjoy the video, or you're just enjoying the educational based content coming out from this channel, make sure you drop that like and subscribe, but for now, Let's get into it. All right, guys, we're going up into Skyfall, starting on the defensive side, which I think I'm happy about, uh, about starting that side for this one. Looking at the ban phase, it's the enemy team's ban first. They're not picking anything. I'm expecting maybe a Lancer or a Seagrid is two of the most common ones. What? <laughs> but they ban Chark, which I think is a, a wasted ban, honestly. Um... Hmm. Question, question, question. What do I want to ban? I have Lancer or Seagrid are the two options I ban here. Um, I think I can deal with a Seagrid more than my team can deal with a Lancer, so I'm going to ban the Lancer. They want me to ban Dahlia. I'm crying. Why would you ban Dahlia? That does not make sense. So that's my thought process behind the ban there. Um, and I'm going to pick up for my defensive side. I used to run Talon a lot on this map, and I do like the idea of Talon still. I think I can do better on Ronin. My nades and my, my Ballistic Knife has been kind of on point with Ronin. Um, so I'm going to pick up this one. I think this will probably just be the best for me. I think I can... I've, I have the most... If my team die, which is very likely, especially on Skyfell, which is very coordination-based, I think I can do it. And I do pick up the uh, Seagrid. We have this Phantom, who I played with last game, is a pretty good shot, so I have to be careful here. Um, other than that, I'm not too worried. Don't know anybody else. Um, yeah, so I'm... Not feeling too, too, too worried. We'll see how this game goes. I'll give my best tips along the way as possible, as usual. And uh, we'll get into this. Watch and learn. Okay, picking up my grenade first. My on defense, I'll be able to grenade. On attack, I'll be able to smoke. Uh, that's pretty much the way I run it. Um, the smoke is too important not to have on the attack, especially considering you can never rely on teammates to buy smokes. And just covering up some of those doors or that mid push is really important. But on defense, the smoke won't help me. But this grenade is the difference between potentially winning rounds and losing rounds. So I always look at fly paths. On Skype, I always look at fly paths. And I see two are going mid, three are going mid. This is a mid play. They're doing something through mid here. Uh, I'm actually going to spam ping it because I think my team are going to... Yeah, they're here. I got to be careful. I win this, I think. Oh, maybe not. Am I gonna kill from that? No, I don't. That's my bad. Uh, I missed the knife. I really had to not miss the knife there. Thankfully, I think my ping meant I get my team get there in time. They're reviving that secret, and that needs to not happen. He's playing for the Mac, I think. Oh, good kill, good kill. They need to. He's just in there first in that kill. I need some serious shots out of you here, buddy. Okay, this has not installed me in faith with my Dahlia. I have zero faith in my Dahlia. Which is unfortunate. They have bomb, I think, down in mid. Uh, like, someone else had it, so... They're probably gonna rotate to B, and we'll see if my team can mix with that. That was my bad, though. Again, I got the pick, but uh, it wasn't full kills, so it really wasn't worth it. Uh, I had to... I probably should have held my nade and just committed to the nade play. Good trade back. This guy isn't bad. I can kind of tell this guy is, like... Got half a brain on him, hopefully. They need to play together. They should play they should play the second door together and then move together. Like clear out the back and then move forward. He sees one. I think he got some beams on. That guy ran all the way back. At this point, it's gonna be hard, like the way they've planted it. Okay, they know both of them are now, so they just have to play for one. This this is not a defuse situation. This is a you have to go and kill them situation. He's too low. I think I think honestly you dip here, don't give them money. Or try and play for one of them. Okay, trade. That's, that's all right. That's all right. Like, we're not winning that round, unfortunately. Uh, again, partially my bad. Probably all my bad uh, for dying there so early. Did I have enough for a weapon? I have six and a half. Okay, so this is the other thing where a lot of people misunderstand what to do, right? I can't buy anything of value, realistically. But how much money do I need to have to make sure I get my weapon next round? Well, to get the K30, I need to have at least two grand, two and a half grand. So I'm going to buy this. I can buy a grenade upgrade there, which gives me increased blast radius. 
which is actually really good. Like, it increases the amount that you could potentially damage someone for. So it's always worth getting that if possible. Again, look at flight paths as I fall down. Just going to try not to make the same mistake that I made last time. And it looks like the same sort of mid play. I've got a Dima coming with me this time. I'm going to play a little bit more reserved because I don't have a gun really to contest them. But, um, okay, here you go. Watch your step. He's gonna die to the my knife. He's one. Nice, cool, cool. Good thing Dima was with me there. Uh, he did help sort of flush them out. But that's essentially how I play play that side of the map with Ronan. We won the round, uh, so I can pick up my weapon. And I can pick up the last upgrade. Getting the 150 damage on that again just increases the amount of damage I can potentially output with it. Even if I miss it, like, it's still pretty valuable. Hey. Okay, K30, by the way, if you want to know my reasoning behind that. And by the way, my next buy is Tenacity 100%. Tenacity is too valuable not to have here. Uh, the K30 on this map, just because there are longer angles, longer ranges that I have to deal with, and potentially going to a sniper, the SLC is not going to be my best friend. Flight path is sending at least one mid, I think a second one veered there, so I have to be careful. Now, I don't actually need him here at this point. I think it's a little unnecessary to have him. I'm just holding this angle and watching this staircase, because that's what people are going to rotate through. My biggest threat is if someone is there. If someone's there, I'm in a little bit of trouble, but I need to move to this door ASAP. Okay, they've planted. Unfortunate. I thought someone was about to push down there, but she was just not the right time. So I'm going to do what I thought my teammates should have done, which is move to this angle. There's someone right here. Oh, there's two right here. That's really bad. That's awful that there were two there. They planted there, which is a weird position, actually. I must see. I can't get into a space where you can revive me, I don't think. Yeah, they're just going to push him out. So they planted for their back spawn again. This is kind of the awkwardness of Skyfell of you don't really know. Uh, I saw one bullet and I heard, heard the snipe. So I was like, okay, the sniper's back there. The other ones are pushed onto site, potentially. Uh, not the case. They actually left the sea grid. And that's, that's kind of a really weird thing. They left the sea grid to plant alone. Uh, and my teammates let her plant alone, which is really bad. Dima should actually go uh, be here. He would do really good at just ulting the, um, the site if they go for plant. That would be the optimal situation. And then Mac goes with him because they have the most firepower. And then Dardy goes mid. That would be an ideal world. Looking at flight path, it's looking kind of mid-heavy, two mid. Yeah, there's some landing mid here, so I just pretty much rinse repeat. I don't need him here. I want him to go away, honestly. That's what me punching you means. It means I want him to go away. Okay, so they're getting early naded, which is really unfortunate. I think that's like the second time she's been early naded there. I need to get to these doors ASAP. I can full kill that pretty easy. Might be able to get him as well. This is going to be awkward if she pushes me. Okay, we got the Mac as well, actually. That's really big. No. I just play for a shield, honestly. I love that knife so much. Nice, they killed him. Nice trade. He actually pushed all the way up for some reason, which I don't know, but we made it work. I'm nice, nice, nice. That's kind of, again, I don't like that I'm the only one there. In theory, I would love for Dahlia to be there as well. And she was playing through mid and her dying on site. Where is she dying to this nade? So she died here to this nade. Probably here, right here, where this explosion went off. Which just can't happen. Like, that, that's the sort of thing you need to rinse, repeat, get over, and not do by tenacity ASAP. Um, and get over it. I've of course bought Tenacity last round, as I said I would. I'm now up to track around, which is another really high tier perk that I think is worth it. Um, from here, honestly though, looking at the perk list, evade if I have a spare 3k. If not, all my money's gonna go into my K30 upgrades. But track arounds I think is really nice, especially in a solo queue situation. Just shooting people and letting my teammates know, hey, this is where they are, is pretty useful. And confidence to throw the knife at that secret there, by the way, is like important. I'm gonna land here. No one, no one veered mid last second. So I'm going to play a really aggressive mid here. Yeah, I didn't cross. 
Let's load them so hard. He just wants to play for me here, I think. Yeah, I actually am just gonna full dip. I don't want to deal with her. She's not worth it. So she's, she's gonna hold me in mid, which means I just regroup to the team here. If they want to go mid to A, I would rather play retake and deal with that, but they're already on site, so we have to hold here. They want to play for Lambo, I think. There's one right here. That was unfortunate that I missed him. Okay, they um bomb. We actually got the Phantom, which is huge. I think she's one of their better players, and I have the sniper now. Oh! Which clearly is not very useful because I suck. I want to go across this zip. I desperately want to go across this zip. He knows I'm here. I think I go back, honestly, and try and help him. He needs it. There's not much we're going to do here, I think. Unfortunate. Let's go hope for his pay for a bit of money, maybe. He's actually on it. Oh, that was not upgraded. <laughs> Whoever bought that axe had not upgraded that axe. Yes, that's the Phantom. Cool. So, again, didn't have much money there. That was a little bit awkward. Um, again, like... I should save my nade. That's what I should do. I should save my nade for that potential retake. That would be far more valuable than um, however I'm using it. And it's uh, unless they push... Okay, this is what I'm going to do. This is like my, my brain thinking on the fly, like, what is going wrong and what could I do? If I had a nade there, it makes things a lot easier. Um, so, I'm going to save my nade for if they push me on A or if they push B. Oh, if they plant B, I'm going to use it for the retake there. They are landing A and, like, heavy A. I need some help right here. I'm going to play a little bit aggro here, get some information, then see what's what. Okay, they're not there. They're going to be up here, though. I need to not die. Yep, there you go. I honestly just get off site here. It's not worth it. It's not worth me holding it here. See? <laughs> This is risky, but I'm going to try and move through Aqua. Enemies planted the bomb. Stop them. Bomb spotted. I just need that thing gone. I'm, just, no, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna save it. Oh wait, they got the revives? That's not good. This is so not good. Do not mess with me. Shield up. I have to kill her. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> she just uh, she played that perfectly by not trying to shoot me. That's all you gotta do in that case, the secret. Just don't shoot me and you're fine. Just walk at me and shield bash me. That's unfortunate though. If she had started shooting me, my gun would have literally lasered her down. And that's the way I now play into Seagrid, but it's Seag but most Seagrid shoot, right? They panic and shoot you. She did not panic and shoot you. Shoot, shoot you? Shoot me. She definitely didn't shoot you. <laughs> okay, so looking at the adjustment there, I think I played the okay. They're reviving a lot of my downs. In fact, they're re reviving all of my downs. Because um, I think I've obviously missed like downs to eliminations. There's three, and they have three revives. So that's what i got to be careful of here. Will they go A again, though, again? One, two went hard B. Two are going like midway. That's awkward. Dima, Dima, when I said I had to get off site, right? Dima showed you exactly why he died. Again, I'm always careful of here. That's where I'm, that's where my death zone is right there. That's where, if I'm gonna die, where it's gonna happen from. Dude, he's right, I, I saw it, you had to see it. I need to save this for the retake, like I said. That's really bad. I'm gonna die. Try and live, Red. Nope. I got stuck in the animation so hard. That's unfortunate. Again, I threw the nade just to try and hopefully deter him, but he did not get deterred. And this Dahlia. This Dahlia is not the best. <laughs> She's struggled with us in. Okay. 2 5, not really what I want. Defense is certainly my least favorite side. That's why I said I was glad I had it first. Um, so hopefully now we try something on the attack. 
In this situation as a player, right? I need to look at what I need to do and I need to hard carry. And I think I can do a lot on Ronin, but I don't think I can do enough on Ronin. So I need to think of a different option here. I need to, okay, he went Kestrel. Kestrel was a potential, potential, but I'm kind of glad I'm not forced into her. I'm going to fix her. Fix is really strong. Fix is really good. Uh, and I think I can play off his smoke and his ability and his DMR well enough that we could win this game. I have the bomb. So, find my smoke because I none of them have a smoke. Again, team comp is awful. Um, their bond is much, much better. But we'll make it work. We need to have, like, power picks, essentially, is what we have. But there's no organization to it. There's no healer, that sort of thing. I'm hoping that our less experienced player... They're going here. We, we go away. We hunt to go away. We hunt to go away. This is, this is the thing people don't understand is they don't know how to read flight paths. There were three or four of them that landed uh, in thingy there. Oh, there you go. Cool. Hello, thank you. Just listening, make sure he doesn't push me here. This is all about audio. I got you. Cool. And then they pushes. We should be fine here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. Couple of missed shots there with the warrant, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, hip fire spray is very strong on the warrant, which is why I tend to default to it. Again, I the, the most time I use the warrant is when I'm playing um Secret. I'm kinda glad I don't have a secret. Like that like I kinda showed you in the last game why I don't know how to see you there. Um I'm not gonna buy anything, I'm gonna save. There's a lot of like high tier perks that are very good or high tier upgrades that are worth it on Fixer, including life chain and um headstrong. So I'm gonna save up a little bit. Maybe if I have a good round, I'll be able to buy one of them this round. Or next round. Now I'm gonna play into B with them and see how that goes. They're now looking for me through the okay, no, there's three of them. One 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 dip last second, you could see it. Gonna aim in and try and get as much damage as possible. That was a really early shield. That's good for us. The fact they use that shield is actually huge for us. You try to ghost with me. So there's three of them. In an ideal world here, we rotate through mid. In an awful eye world, we get demolted. That's huge. That was so good. I'm gonna watch for him. That's where I think he's gonna come from. Oh, that's so bad. He's right here. Nice. And that's the power fixer right there. I'm there sitting in the middle of everything and just beaming him, beaming them all and figuring out exactly what I need to do. I have the time and luxury of knowing I'm relatively safe. And because of that, I'm gonna go this is actually a really important choice here. I'm gonna, I'm not taking a lot of trades and if I, I find that if I'm trading with people, I'm either dying or like I'm dying instantly, like it doesn't matter. I'm getting pushed by that seeker on one HP and I'm just dead and there's no account play or I'm easily winning. So headstrong, that 25 HP isn't gonna make the difference I think in some situations here. So I am going to go with life drain to hopefully clutch up a few moments. And they didn't land here as strongly, so I'm gonna be really nervous of our mid. That's that seeker that like didn't go there, bro. Like that's that's huge. I needed to kill him there. Gotta be really careful here. We're in a death box essentially. That's huge. That's huge. That full kill was absolutely huge. I'm gonna throw this here. I don't think anyone's on site, so nice. We got a huge kill there. And she, like, she, she's clueless. Like, she just thinks, okay, there's a smoke grenade, I'm gonna run forward. And look, we're, we're turning it around. We went 2 5, it's now 5 5. My team actually and oddly seem to like, seem like, seem more comfortable here. That's not the right way. I go that and. That. It's a rare time when I'll buy fast hands. I don't trust my team enough um, to do it. This is essentially a 1v1 right now. This is like me versus their seeker. And then our team are kind of filtering either way. My, my, my girl's doing much better on Kestrel. Much better on Kestrel, and I love that. I love that she was able to change the road to achieve a more comfortable one. Didn't force herself as a healer, which clearly wasn't her strong suit. And is now doing better because of it, you know? 
I should have hit that, honestly. I actually want to play through mid here. I really want to play through mid here. That demo ult is going to miss. Okay, there's two of them there. That's huge. I was seem to remember they have an anvil, which is kind of annoying for us in terms of retake. He's there. Okay, that's huge to know. I'm just going to try and play this somewhat slow. Maybe look for a pick. I'm going to do this, though. We can just dip. There's someone here. He needs to die. That's anvil as well. That's huge if he dies. Okay, I just need to get to A. Cool, we got the full kill. That's huge. That means that means we can actually play for this. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, where's the bomb? I thought I had the bomb this round. Nice, that's huge. Nice, team came rotated as well. She's going to try and poke at me. She's dead. Nice. Nice, that was perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. I mean, not really. I want my team to be here straight away when I came here, but I also thought I had the bomb. <laughs> so, all good. Okay, what am I buying now? Headstrong. If I have 12 grand and I can buy Headstrong, I'm buying Headstrong. Right, it's also about looking at your economy and thinking like, okay, if I had 11 grand, well, I'll buy two weapon upgrades or I'll buy um, probably actually what I would have bought is a C double C4 upgrade and then left it for Headstrong later. I'm down to have the bomb. I like the bomb. The bomb makes me feel good inside. This has been a good comeback. They haven't won a round on, on our attack yet, which is really, really big. Really, really big. They're stacking one here. I'm going to do something really aggressive with my smoke. Yeah, I'm actually going to just full aggro this. Because there's only one here. Only one. I still think there's only one here. I'm listening for audio cues right now. I don't hear any. I think we're okay. This is my danger point right here. That's something else that I do a lot. Is I assess where my danger point is. Hello, melee. Thank you. And for me in that situation, my danger point... No, you're not having that. Sorry. They should get off here. Oh, that was the angle. I love this DMR. Guys, I'm down. She should stick that. There's huge beams. I'm, I'm going to go behind them here. This is a play you can pull off um, if you're confident. You have to be real confident though. Oh, I'm okay. I think. Gosh, is it? Okay. <laughs> that was actually really awkward. I really didn't think my team would like die like that. Fine, we made it work. Hey, look, my fast hands. I just came in use. I got a revive with the fast hands. It was worth it. It was worth the purchase. Okay, now uh, I'm going to go double upgrade here. And I'm going to go one upgrade here. No, I'm not. I'm going to do this. I'm going to only buy one upgrade here. I'm going to double upgrade here. I'm going to go Berserker as well. The reason for that is just because the increased damage isn't that necessary. Like, well, they have two tenacity and it's not going to burn through them anyway. They've probably got tenacity by now. It's I can kill the Seeker and the, the Demon without it, I think. B is working for us. Normally, I'd love to go A here based off those fly paths, but it, we don't need to, right? So, like, I'm just not. <laughs> no aggressive play because we did see multiple of them come here. Will she peek? I shot the grenade out of her hand. That is tilting. I'm tilted for you there. I literally shot the grenade straight out of her hand. I don't know where this kid is. What is he doing? Nice. Cool, one more. And we win. Nice. That game looked rough, especially on our defensive side. That looked really rough. But we end that one. I'll show you the scoreboard in a second. Uh, that came down to, I said, I basically vocalized everything I was thinking as I went through. But there was a lot of like strategic elements that went into that, including the rogue choice. I dropped uh, 4.199 damage, uh, 23 down, 23 elims, two revives. So I'm a team. Um, but guys, Hopefully that shows you kind of like what I was going for with that. My Ronin was a little bit off. Uh, I could definitely have done better on the Ronin there to transition that. But I 
try to read very much what they were doing and adjust what was happening and guide you guys through my thought process as it was all going on. So hopefully that was uh, entertaining for you guys. You learned something. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, if you're enjoying the series, if you're enjoying the more educational side of the Sodoku series, because I certainly am. I, I like talking through my thought process a lot more with you guys. So hope you enjoy too. Okay then guys, it takes us to the end of the video. And if you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also come follow me on twitch.tv slash raddargaming to see live gameplay commentaries. You can also come check me out on Instagram, TikTok, and my second channel, all linked below in the description. For now guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. And as always, be loyal, be brave, be relentless, and I'll catch you in the next video.